Hello, yes, it's me, Holly Agnbar, back with an Into the Match reaction. I know it's been a little while, but today we did manage to glimpse a little bit of Adjibor. Though we lost 3 2, there's a lot of positives to take against this game against West Ham. If you're new to the channel, please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe so you never miss a video. Yes, ah, uh, it's Holly's Hotspurs back with another one. Chatting all things Tottenham, we're second to none. Special guests every time, if it's win, lose or draw. The passion is high like Harry Kane when he scores. Or when Lloris makes a world-class save. We got Hoybier running the mid every game. Settle down, stick around, share your thoughts with the panel. And make sure you're subscribing to the channel. Coys. Yes, people, we saw today that obviously Tottenham played their first game under Andrew Postacoglu today. Uh, I'm not going to lie, we, we didn't manage to get a win, um, but there was lots of positive sides. Those positive sides didn't really come much in the first half, um, as we conceded to. Again, silly defences errors, people not getting close to their men, um, and they pretty much walking the ball into the back of the net. Positive signs, though, were definitely going forward. It was a breath of fresh air to see chance after chance after chance created. We clearly didn't really have our shooting boots on, because on the 27 shots that we had, we only managed to score two. So maybe a little bit more work up there, but my word, it was so nice to see so many different passages of play coming from Madison, coming from Basuma, coming from the likes of Gio Lo Celso, may I, may I add. So the man's come back from loan and he's trying to prove himself in the Spurs shirt and I'm here for it. I think it's just because of the way we're playing. We're playing with such more positivity and more attacking mindset than what we were under Jose and the likes of Conte. So maybe this could be a place for Gio. Obviously, he managed to score that first goal and then get the second by setting up Destiny, which I am so happy to see him be thriving well. It's obviously his first goal for Tottenham in Tottenham Colours. So I'm hoping for more to come. A special mention as well to Solomon. How good did he look as well? To be fair, all of our kind of attacking outfit looked very good. Um, it was also great to see Nodomale at full time, mixing in with the fans. Um, this could be the resurgence for Nodomale, especially in the way we're playing in such attacking football. Only time will tell. Uh, but obviously, we do need to sort that defence out. You can't be having four shots and three of them going in the back of your net. Uh, so if that's not a warning sign for Daniel Levy to go sort something out before the summer transfer window ends, I do not know. Uh, but we need two more centre-backs at least to fix those problems at the back. Uh, but I'm excited for Ange Ball. I'm ready for more to come. Uh, we will have another game, obviously, on Sunday against Leicester, 11am again, which we will then dissect and delve into more on Holly Sotswell's Live on Monday, as I'll be joined again by three fabulous guests. So keep your eyes peeled for that one. Obviously, we've got a lot of women's content coming up as well. Um, so it should be a really good month and again we get to witness Angeball for the second time in a week what's more to like um but until next time come with you spurs